I am going to explain how to feed the world. Very easy. Very, very easy thing. It's going to be a short video. Um, my name's Harvey. I'm a farmer from the UK. And let's not waste any time. Let's explain this. Uh, today I have been packaging up our beef that we produce ourselves here on the farm. We package it up and we sell it to the public. Uh, sell it locally to friends and family and people that people that we reach locally through uh, through our promotion. So um, so yeah, we package today. Uh, tomorrow, people come come to the farm um, and collect some beef, which is amazing. So that's what I've been doing. Got me thinking about this question: How do we feed the world? It's kind of an overused question, I think. People like it's used because it sounds more interesting than it is. Because the question is pointless. We don't need to feed the world. We don't need to feed the world. When has anybody ever in history needed to feed the world? You don't do that. You feed the region. Okay? You feed the local region. Because food is not something that needs to feed the world. It doesn't need to travel. It doesn't need to go on a plane. We don't need to grow food on an international scale. It doesn't need to be this big interconnected system. It can and should be a local thing. We feed the world by feeding the region. Now, how is that done? It needs to be using animal agriculture because animal agriculture is self-sustaining. It doesn't need inputs, okay? We can use inputs, we do use inputs, but inherently, it's self-sustaining. The, the monoculture kind of practices that we grow most of the food, the food in the world by currently is not self-sustaining because you need inputs that need to come from all over the world uh, all kind of other industries, okay, which creates a good economy. That's maybe a pro to look on the bright side. But um, you know, when we look at the whole picture, is it required? No. If we if we really distill it down, if we really want an honest answer to this question of how do we feed the world, then um, I don't think it's much of the much of a debate really. It needs to be animal agriculture, animal-based agriculture, on a local level. On a local level, if it really comes down to it, could we get by without, you know, shipping tractors from Europe uh, over the world, machines, chemicals, uh, you know, jugs of chemicals go around the world, uh, or in big plastic tubs, and they're weed killers or fertilizers, or yeah, granulated. Uh, powder fertilizer from um, from the Middle East I think they made it I don't know where's that huge explosion huge explosion because the stuff's flammable and it went off like a bomb anyway they shipped that around the world you know because it boosts productivity sort of not in the long run it doesn't but it does uh, in the short term and machines chemicals all this all these things that we've developed, they're a man-made thing, don't forget, they're not inherently a part of food or the way we grow food, they've just been added into the industry. That's fine, they've, they've done a fantastic job in places, they've really helped, uh, especially you know when you look at kind of post-war here in Europe, um, a lot of these things I, I think are needed, but we have, to be, we have to think relatively to the times that we're in. And if we're gonna ask this question, how do we feed the world, we've gotta really Look at it um, pragmatically in the times in relation to the situation we're in. And the situation is not um, like it was post World War II. Okay, so if you didn't know, they pretty much went out with um, plows. They plowed the fields up. Uh, they used different techniques to make, such as uh, I'll explain it, ridge and, a ridge and furrow technique, made ridges and furrows in the field and increased the surface area at which you could grow. You know, like root vegetables, mostly potatoes, maybe or carrots, I think. Um, 
and it was all it was all go. You know, the governments were paying people to make more food because we needed more food. You know, that was that was the situation we're in. We do not need more food now. We make so much food globally, you know. That's also half of it, just having an understanding of this situation. How do we feed the world? Well, is it a production problem or is it a distribution problem? Because we make a lot of food. A lot of food. Too much food, arguably. Um, but it's a distribution problem in that case, isn't it? Um, the food wastage is a huge problem at the minute. However, I think fundamentally that would be just attacking the wrong thing. I think fundamentally we can shift the whole system um, to the point where the malnourished regions of the world could become self-sustaining and that would fix the economy and a lot of knock-on problems. A lot of it comes back to agriculture. Um, you know, so I said it's a distribution problem. Well, arguably, yes, but maybe it's more of a distribution of uh, knowledge or technique. Um, because, you know, just because we can grow a lot of grain in America or Ukraine or England um, doesn't mean we should just, oh, let's do that, let's focus on the most efficient thing and ship it globally. You know, we're very lucky to be able to think globally now, uh, now that we're all connected through the internet and social media and policies that tie in different nations. That's an amazing thing in a lot of ways. And for economies, the trade is amazing. Um, but food's sort of separate from that because food is so inextricably, is that a word? Linked um, to the health of the climate and the health of society and the economy. So food has to be pulled out of that situation and made locally. Made uh, The debate needs to be made regional, not global. Uh, if we can keep subsidizing Africa's malnutrition with grain from wherever, um, we're never going to fix that problem. And then we're going to worry, then we're going to wonder about why there's immigration problem or um, economical problems in those underdeveloped uh, kind of third world, third world countries um, whilst we're feeding kind of the problem from the top end. So from the bottom end, on a regional level, uh, the agriculture system is probably the first change that needs to needs to happen in a lot of those places. Um, yeah, I think that explains it. How do we feed the world? Feed the region.